now available on Instagram. Welcome to my channel. No matter where I look recently, all I see are separate prints. I do think they're a definite trend that probably started sometime around 2019, really picked up steam in 2020, and I still think it's holding strong for 2021. If you have an Instagram account, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Checkers are just everywhere, from home decor and fashion. Even nail art these days is inspired by checkered prints. Yes, checkered prints are a definite trend that is happening, and it's actually actually a print that has been around for quite some time. The history of the checkered print starts with the game of chess which originated some 1,500 years ago in India. From India, the game spread to Persia, and then due to the vastness of the Persian Empire at the time, the game spread through the world. The checkered print is definitely not a new thing in fashion. It was a big trend in the 60s, maybe because the mod era was also all about this rebellious, youthful attitude and breaking away from traditions. Hemlines were raised, prints were bold and graphic, and it was definitely a way to step away from the traditional houndstooth prints of the past. Then the 70s marked the rise of the ska music scene, which took on the checkered print as a graphic symbol of the scene, bringing together black, white, and other people of color as a statement against racial segregation. Also, in the late 70s, Vans came out with the classic slip-on shoe in the checkerboard pattern. So in the 70s, the ska music scene as well as skate culture were both adapting the checkerboard print as a graphic symbol. And more recently, in the early 2000s, the checkerboard print, as well as the Vans shoes, saw a revival with the punk and emo music scene. Think Warp Tour, MySpace, emo hair cuts and then once again here we are the checkerboard print is having a revival on the high fashion runways it's definitely a trend for fall 2020 we saw checkered prints from Erdem, Eckhaus Lada, Preen as well as the 2021 Louis Vuitton men's show. So yes, it was all over the runways. I've also noticed it as a big trend with smaller, more indie labels. One of my favorite examples is Holiday the Label, which is an Australian label by Sydney-based designer Emma Mulholland. Towards the end of 2017, she introduced the Kokomo pant, which was more of a hand-drawn checkered pattern. The print itself was inspired by Greg Araki's 90s film Dune Generation. So her version of a checkerboard is hand-drawn and it comes in an array of colors and it's also sold in PJ sets, the green one most famously worn by the pregnant Gigi Hadid last year. Then there is the label Rowan Rose, which is designed by Emma Rowan Rose. And for fall 2019, she had a few of these really beautiful checker dresses. She even cut some of them on bias to be diamond checks. And this was the first time I really started to notice the label and I've really been a fan since. And then of course there's the Swedish Stan Studio, which for fall 2020 showed two colorways of a checkered faux fur coat. I myself fell in love with the coat and I purchased the black and white version. And that coat is actually the only thing I own that it's actually checkered. So I do think I need to get more checkered things. Then there's also the NYC based label, Tyler McGillivary. And she has these really cool knitted warped checker print tops that I think are a really fun take on the print. So yes, the checkered print is definitely having a moment right now. In this video, I would like to argue that there is no better representation of the checkered board prints than the Louis Vuitton Spring 2013 collection by Marc Jacobs. First off, I would like to say that Marc Jacobs spent 16 years as the creative director of Louis Vuitton, and he pretty much revived the brand. He brought youthful energy to Louis Vuitton. He mixed art and fashion with memorable collaborations, and he truly created so many countless collections that captured all of our imaginations. So this video is specifically focused on the Spring 2013 Louis Vuitton collection, but don't you worry, I'm a huge fan of Marc Jacobs and there will definitely be more to come on this channel. So the spring 2013 Louis Vuitton collection, which I affectionately call that the Escalator collection, and honestly when I say that I think everyone knows what I'm talking about. The runway show had a giant escalator that was installed in the courtyard of the Louvre. The minute I saw this collection going down the runway, I was in love. With both the clothing as well as the manner in which it was represented. The whole show was actually really short by runway standards. 
standards. It was only six minutes long. This was probably due to the fact that all the models had a twin to walk down the runway with. The twins part of the show was inspired by Diane Arbus's twins photo from 1967, which actually in turn inspired Stanley Kubrick's twins in the 80s film The Shining. In the show notes it was noted that this is the first ever Louis Vuitton collection not to use the monogram. Instead the damier pattern provides the house's signature. Damier actually translates into checkerboard in French, and the checkerboard pattern is deeply rooted into Louis Vuitton's DNA. The damier pattern was created by the luxury house in 1888. It actually came before the LV monogram, which was created in 1896. So for spring 2013, the entire collection was based on the pattern, which is really unprecedented for Louis Vuitton as well as for Marc Jacobs, who always relied on the monogram in previous years. So the kickoff point for spring 2013 was the Damier pattern, as well as the work of conceptual French artist Daniel Buren. Jacobs also had Daniel Buren design the escalators for the show itself, which I read was actually done very last minute and Buren was super nervous about execution, but very impressed with Marc Jacobs and the whole Louis Vuitton team's execution of the escalators. Marc Jacobs is quoted as saying, the square and the grid are repeated motifs in Buren's work, while the checks relate to Louis Vuitton's own geometric damier pattern. Le Du Plateau is a 1985 art installation created by Buren in the Palais Royale that was the main part of the inspiration for spring 2013. It is an installation of candy striped black and white columns of different heights ranging from small, medium to large. The entire spring 2013 collection is the Damier print which is blown up to be small, medium and large as well as all of the lengths of the garments are either mini, midi or maxi which seems to be inspired by Buren's installation. The entire collection is a definite nod to the 60s but it's never retro. Instead it's actually sleek, modern and minimal. The whole collection is pretty much the Damier print and it comes in various different colors of white mixed with yellow, black, Black, beige, brown, green, and gray. What was so interesting too was that the Marc Jacobs Spring 2013 show was all about stripes and the Louis Vuitton show was all about checkers. So he's kind of playing with two sides of the same graphic coin. And to break away from the grid aspect of the show, Jacobs inserted a floral shadow print to the collection in the same color story as the Damien print. I thought all those floral shadow prints were so beautiful as well. And such a compliment to the graphic Damien print. I love that these florals remained soft and beautiful yet bold. The collection mostly focused on these very mod inspired 60s styles but it was really Marc Jacobs's version of minimalism. The model's hair was also very 60s with side sweat bangs and bows in the hair, very actually soft and subtle makeup and for the most part very sensible kitten heels with bows. And some models walked down the runway in non-matching pairs which was my favorite part. Some of the styles were also made of this gorgeous tiny tiny sequins which from afar you couldn't even tell that it was sequins but it had this ever so slight shine which I loved and it gave this sparkle to all the garments. So the bags were in the damier print which was very unusual for a Louis Vuitton collection. Everything was very matchy matchy which I also love. And the bags also came in so many different variations. There were sequins bags, there were velvet flocked bags as well as pony hair. I myself just loved every piece that came down the runway and I would love to have any of these looks from head to toe. I think the spring 2013 Louis Vuitton collection is an example of amazing creative direction where Marc Jacobs was able to take the brand's DNA, the damier pattern, and give us something that was a nod to the 60s, but very new, modern, cool, beautiful, and to me, definitely the best use of the checkered pattern ever in fashion. So let me know if you agree in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!